Good afternoon, everyone. We'll take questions for Avalanche forward Nathan McKinnon. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Nate. How are you doing? Good. Good. How, um, just in general, how do you feel in your first game back? Oh, great. Uh, yeah, better than I thought I would. Um, had some good legs. Uh, yeah, a lot of good looks. Um, yeah, I thought, uh, you know, our whole team played really, really well. So that made it easy for myself. Well, back to Peter. Yeah, I wanted to ask about the Kale, uh, or the Nazem Kadri goal. Kale, I think, was at the very end of his shift there when he made that play. One, what does that say about his endurance? And two, is that something that he's improved, or has he always kind of had that endurance and ability to, to do stuff like that late in shifts? I think, I, I mean, he's been doing it for three years. So, yeah, it was a nice play down the wall and good pass. Eric Dean, my high sports. Hey, Nate, I kind of just want to ask you about the injury a couple of weeks ago. Just uh, number one, what was this recovery and the road to recovery like for you? And, and number two, were you aware of what happened on that play when it initially happened? Or did you think initially that it was a dirty hit? Um, yeah, road to recovery was was uh, different. I mean, I had surgery a couple of days later, so I was just tired uh, for a few days. And then I kind of started feeling really well. Uh, I had really good treatment on my neck. Um, from a lot of really good people. Um, yeah, we got on it early. So the, the neck was pretty sore uh, from the torque. Or, um, but yeah, I didn't know the stick hit me until I watched the replay. And um, yeah, just a really unlucky play. Um, that happens all the time, that motion. You know, you chip it, you put your stick up and put it back down. Um, so yeah, just unlucky. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Um, yeah, what did, I guess, after that play, I don't know how much you were following that game immediately after, but what did you think of the team's response in that Boston game, either when you were watching it or when you read about it or saw the highlights or whatever? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. But I saw we won, so that was cool. <laughs> Fair enough. And then, um, I guess, just in general, what did you see out of the team when, when you were out? Um, yeah, uh, it's same as always, just. We have such an amazing team. Um, it's fun to watch it, especially that Tampa game. I, I, I didn't see the other other games um, live, but I saw the Tampa game live uh, right before I came back tonight. And that was an awesome game to watch. Uh, we're so, so much fun to, to watch. And I understand why we sell it every night now um, at home. It's, uh, it's really fun to be a part of this team and to watch this team. All right. Thank you, Nate. One question here, Nate. Okay. Good. Um, Dallas is known as a heavy four checking team. How did you guys kind of disrupt that? Um, yeah, I just think with our four check, um, that kind of we were in their end a lot. And I think at the, you know, when they got the puck, it was at more of their end of their shifts, and they weren't didn't have a ton of energy just from us hemming them in. So, um, as well as our amazing D moving the puck out quick, uh, they make it easy. Yeah, thank you. Mike.